Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy, Matt Deasy, back up in there. And today, oh, today, we got the Tribbit Flybuds wireless earbuds, okay? Let me tell you a little bit about this right here. I was, uh, I, I went ahead and I always talk about those Tribbits. If you guys know anything about me, you guys know I had, uh, back in 2017, I believe, the sleeper of the year was my Tribbit X, I think it's the, the, the X Free or the X Ground or X Go or something like that, whatever. Whatever their um, their 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 12 watt speaker was, it's like the Ground or this, whatever, whatever it's called. I'll, I'll put the name right here okay so you guys can check out that video or more importantly you guys can check that check that out um pick it up wherever you guys uh do your purchasing and i really like that speaker because of the price and more importantly the fact that it snuck up on me i didn't expect it to be as good and as well engineered as it was so needless to say later on they put out the max and they put out this other one a 360 joint all good speakers not great but good speakers and so I, I went ahead and linked up to the Tribbit site, and I think I became a member or something like that or whatever. So whenever they have new stuff or their newsletter, whatever the case is, whenever they got new stuff coming out, they would let me know. So this is one of those things that came out new. Not only did it come out new, they said they did a, a lot of campaigning on this. They actually sent out like a timer, and um, if you were one of the first people to order it, you get a discount and blah, 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 blah. And that's, that is great marketing. Great marketing on your part, Tribbit. Now that I'm looking at it, though, at the Amazon site, 65 bucks for a pair of earbuds? Hmm. But let me tell you why I think it may be worth it. Notice I haven't even opened the box yet. But just on the write-up alone, this is 5.0 Bluetooth. 36 hours of playtime for gym and running. Who the hell's up in the gym for 36 hours? But okay, if you if you bossing like that, dog, these might be for you. <laughs> and they are IPX5 waterproof true wireless earbuds with a mono mode. It's got the built-in mic, and I got to test out which is the mono, the left or the right, but we'll see, or maybe both. And then on top of everything, it looks like it has touch controls, noise canceling, and Type-C charging. If that is the case, these might be some of those really good earbuds. I'm going to check these out. Let's go ahead and crack open that box. I believe we're going to need a trusty knife. So let me go ahead and pull one out. pa -dow. Let's see what we got. All right, so we got some tape. The box is underwhelming. I'm not going to front on that. The box is a finger mag fingerprint magnet. It just collects fingerprints and dirt and oil and stuff. But okay, it just got the company name on the front. The box is not, is not very, you know, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and crack that open. See what we got. All right. So inside of the box, you get this lovely case, it looks like. Oh, nice. Also fingerprint magnet. Well, the oils from your fingers will definitely come on there and stay, but you got some company branding. Uh, yes, Type-C charging. You guys see that? Type-C charging. You got one LED over here, it looks like. Um, it looks like there may be some others over here, so we'll test out to see what those are all about. Here's that, that hinge. And inside, here you go. There are your earbuds. And... They seem to have this like graphene covered, rubberized, nice feel. Got some holes here, which may be those mics or there may be some LEDs. It's got the left and right channel uh, branding here. And we're going to come back to these in a, moment, in a moment here. Let's see what else is in the box, though. Some styrofoam. And here is your book. All right, so we're gonna. Ha I'm not gonna toss this one to the side right now because I might need that in a little bit. They do have a card, a couple of cards in here, it seems. Uh, thank you for your purchase, and leave us a review. And uh, but the thought will we will return the favor by donating one dollar to to the U.S. Fund for UNICEF charity. That's pretty cool. All right, so 
So yeah, we might just not do this video review. We might do an actual review as well on their on their site. So that's pretty cool. All right, and then there's a box inside of a box inside of a box alert. What do we got? All right, so looks like we've got a charging cable and some ear tips, which we will definitely be utilizing. All right, so here's your Type-C charging cable. It is a pretty small cable, but I guess that's what you have to expect with a small pair of earbuds. All right, let's go back to these earbuds here now. I do like the company branding. I do like this case. It's a very nice small case. Very nice. Oh, these are these are these are really tight. Okay. Take a look. Nice. Okay, so you got some pins here. The pins are covered by a plastic. So we'll take those off momentarily. Um, it's got the, the letter R here, so you know it's the right channel. And we're going to go ahead and put this in. Da, da, da. Got that little piece off. Yep. Okay. Stick you down. Come on. Get off me. All right, so it's got the two pins. Put you back in and see if it starts to charge right away. So it looks like it needs to charge up a little bit here, but we'll we'll test that out here in a moment. Stick it in and test it out. Giggity. Same on the left channel. You got your two pins. So let's go ahead and put these in. They, they fit pretty snug. I hear the pairing when they went in. <laughs> Giggity again. All right. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn you on. Sorry about that, y'all. I had to turn off another speaker that was connected. And let's go ahead and see what populates for available devices. We got the LGs, we got the tailgaters, we got the Tribit Flybud L. Okay, so the left side connected. Um, let's see what's happening here. Yeah, so only the left side is connected. Let's see if I can find that right side. <clears throat> Okay, so I may need to go take it to the uh, manual to get uh, more details on getting this right channel up and running. Yeah. But yeah, this left channel is mad loud. Let me take it back. Dun, 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 dun. We want to listen to boom. Okay. Okay, so the base is not the best. Just make sure. Yep, that's all the way up. Try these. Okay, so one tap for one tap for the pause. One tap to play. Two taps to fast forward. Three taps. Oh no, it fast forwarded. So three taps seems to be rewind, but yeah, it just seems to be uh, like a fast forward. Hmm. Well, we'll still play with it. We'll get it around, and um, I'm like yelling probably. So let's go ahead and try to get this. What we're going to do is try to get the left and the right paired up. I like the fit. It was a very snug fit. 
um, without even having those little winglets or, or things to make sure that it stays in the in the top part of your ear. It just fit right in, slid right into my ear. Um, <laughs> giggity. And uh, I do like the way the way it fit very snug. The the actual ear tips that they gave you also were very nice as well. Uh, there are some more, so I'm going to see if we can find out if they have any comply tips in here as well, which is always a great little thing for when you're going to the gym is to utilize those comply tips so they don't, um, you know, they, they stay comfortable while you're doing other stuff. So we'll take a look and see what's going on with this right ear, why that one won't seem to connect. And while while I'm going to be doing that and, and testing out all these different uh, hand gestures, if you guys want me to do a follow-up video, go ahead down below. Just to let me know, this was just the first impression. Just got these out. These are the new Tribbits. Uh, these are called the Fly Buds. They are 5.0 Bluetooth earbuds. So I want to definitely put it through its paces. See how what the distance is from the from the material. So what I want to do is probably take these over to the gym, um, put my phone in a locker, and just see if I can run it from my my watch and the earbuds and be comfortable with that. And that's. At my gym, I think from the locker to the furthest area, straight back from it, about 150 to 200 feet. So I don't think it'll do the whole gym, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll test it out. Um, go ahead down below. Leave a comment if you guys want want, some, want to know something. If you guys want me to compare these to anything, let me know down there. And while you're down there, might as well go ahead. Give it a thumbs, yo. Give it a thumbs. And hey, always be the hero in your story, not the villain in someone else's. Peace.